newbie reporting for duty with another OG weapon. And this one's amazing. It's called the Chimera. And a Chimera in Greek mythology was a hybrid monster, lion, dragon, maybe goat, that could breathe fire upon enemies and friends alike. And that's a good metaphor for this weapon because the Chimera is definitely a hybrid. It may be a great SMG and it's a good AR. It's in the AR classes. That's where you'll find it. So if you take a look at the configuration that I used and also the base configuration of the Chimera, the fire rate is pretty good at 800 rounds per minute. Bullet velocity a little low at 420. My configuration dropped that even down about 30. The headshot damage is a healthy 44 upper and lower torso or 37 each. And what does that mean? That means that you can get a four shot kill in the upper or lower torso if you mix in a headshot. Effective damage range is a little bit thin at 13.6 meters. My configuration up that a bit to uh, by 1.6 meters to 15. And the minimum damage range is more SMG-like at 34.5. My configuration up that just a little bit. So if we look at the kill metrics, four shots mythical to the head, five to the upper lower torso and the upper legs. But as I said, in the upper and lower torso, if you mix in one headshot, you will get an amazing 300 millisecond time to kill. And that is all world. It is close to meta. There are a few guns that will kill faster than that. And most of them, shotgun, sniper, maybe a marksman rifle to the head, 300 milliseconds, just a normal. And if you look at the per legs time to kill, 375 milliseconds, and that's still competitive. When we take a look at the recoil, it's where the Chimera is also SMG-like with a 34.81 gun kick, and that's in degrees per second. My configuration improves that. A decent 10.15 AR-ish degrees per second in the horizontal recoil and the vertical recoil at 44 roughly degrees per second. I improved that also by about 10%. Hip fire spread, min max, tax stance is all SMG-like, hybrid with AR. All right, let's look at the performance. The aim down sight is 250 milliseconds. That's on the slower side of an SMG and a faster side of an AR. Reload quickness is good. Movement speed is more AR-ish. Crouch movement speed, I'm not really all that concerned about that. I don't do much crouch moving. Sprint speed is a de decent 5.5 meters per second. I slowed that just a bit as with the tactical sprint speed at a very good seven meters per second. And the ADS movement speed, more SMG-ish at 2.9 meters per second. I increased that and used it at distance. Sprint to fire speed is more SMG-ish, so we're looking at the hybrid nature of the Kamiya, and my configuration drops at about two milliseconds, not even recognizable, and the flinch resistance is a standard 0.17 newtons. In my configuration, I added the overpressure rounds, and that gives us 75% more target flinch. Given the slider effective damage range of the Chimera, I suspect if I'm going against an AR, even a marksman rifle or a sniper, it's going to be outside that damage range. If I make them flinch, I have a better chance of winning the gunfight. Other than that, you can see how I have configured. So let's go to the field of honor and see how this amazing OG weapon performed. All right, we go into the hotel. The Brennenberg. So if you compare the Chimera to the MCW, Fire rate's much better for the Chimera. Range is better for the MCW, but the kill metrics, the Chimera wins hands down. And if you get one to the upper torso or lower torso and the head, it's a 300 millisecond kill for the Chimera. It puts out bullets quickly. As you can see there, I stole a sure kill. And then the guy that was trying to kill, and I get gacked. So let's compare the recoil and performance. 
MCW wins hands down with recoil. That's why I adjusted it. Vertical recoil is roughly even. The, the hip fire attack spreads are very close. The ADS, Chimera wins, and the sprint to fire speed is SMG like. If you're carrying an MCW on a small to medium map and you come up against a Chimera, you might as well just hand over your lunch money because the Chimera will eat lunch. And oops, that guy put out two proximity mines, which I'm not against that. I do that myself. And then camp between them. And it only took me getting gacked, buying the farm about four times to see the pattern. So moving fast with an AR, taking damage. I'm going to try the oldest trick in the Call of Duty book. Just wait for the guy shooting you to round the corner. So I'm behind, but I don't start to get concerned till I get to about 20 kills. Somebody gets to 20. And Snoop Dogg absolutely stuck me with that Granado. That guy loves the corner over there. I think he's setting up a tent. He already had a sleeping bag out. That guy was my nemesis. He was a nice guy. We talked the whole time. He was my nemesis. He was a pretty good player. All right. So I'm moving around with the Chimera, and I'm not seeing a thing. <laughs> Except, yep, there he is. The guy that puts out Proximity Mines as bait. And there's my nemesis. But you can see how fast you can react with a Chimera. I felt like I was with a good SMG the whole time. And it's an AR. And it's not bad at distance if you put on attachments to control the recoil. All right, we're at 25 kills. We're getting nervous here. Too exciting. I don't know if that guy was AFK or what. And we're up by three. We're up by two. I'm bringing the enemy team back into the game. Time's running out on us, though. Got to get that last gack in. And it's not a Snickers win. 29 kills, not satisfying. So I decided to give it another, another go there. And we're on Vista. Kind of like this map. I think it's pretty. It's just, I really don't prefer it. Medium distance there, we buzzed the king. I spawned in here two kills down. So I knew I had to make up some distance. And I'm running in a corner. Changing mags is pretty quick. I put the maximum mag on it, the 45 round mag, because it does shoot at 800 rounds per minute. Or, I'm sorry. 800 rounds per second. Look at that guy. Boom. He gacks me. And there's somebody just uh, I, maybe out on a break. Who knows? Head to head. Guy's moving fast. Take a little jumper there. Got the lady from behind. You can see the sprint to fire speed is amazing for an AR. It's quick for an SMG. Oh, guy owns that corner. He ought to sit at the table. He'd probably be more comfortable. Face to face, close in, it, it eliminates people. There he is in another corner. We got a remote. Like I said, I always say, I'm usually a buffoon with those things, but maybe it'll get a couple of gacks for me. And it just did. We're chucking and jiving. We're zigging when we should zag sometimes. There's a VTOL. VTOLs, 
are almost GG. Look how fast that guy's running. Almost GG. And we're going to put that out, give the pilot a chance to look at the terrain. Not really a fighter pilot, and a ground attack pilot, but maybe he could do some air to air too. These guys, this, these last couple guys are moving really slow, and I dig that about them. All right, we've built up a pretty good lead. I'm seeing where the VTOL, where the pilot, he's giving me directions here. Somebody's trying to gack me with a grenade. And there's going to be the final kill. I think it's the 14th kill. And that's a Snickers win. 30 kills. It's so satisfying. So overall, I think the Chimera has earned a permanent spot on my class list. It is... Look at me shooting lower legs. It is awesome. Awesome. Hybrid. Please like and subscribe. Peace.